Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Back. <clears throat> so, what are we doing here? Well, we're doing something, uh, well, as we go back in and we teach Alice, you know, hey, you know, let's do this branch by abstraction, but we're teaching her on this micro level with this very, you know, this data set of, of commits here, um, rather than branches. Um, it's just conceptually simple. Uh, we're going to, uh, you know, we're going to use each of these. And so what now what we have is, <clears throat> this is just sort of a general collapsing stuff in uh, with rebasing. But basically, uh, I, I just put a note on this one that says to fix up with this one. So that means when we're rebasing, so if we were to get rebase, hit stash, get rebase dash i, hit minus four, I think it's about good. All right, so this one's got a commit there. Okay, so what's that commit? It's that commit. All right, so this tells me that I should squash that in. Well, I'm going to fix up as a squash with uh, with ignoring the arguments, right? So uh, now we should go back through and see that scripts args is a part of there, right? <clears throat> Whereas before it was not. And this commit uh, hash has changed here. So now if we did our git log, right, we'd see um, so that one's distinct and everything's distinct. Okay, great. So now let's do git stash pop. And let's see what's going on here. All right, so, uh, okay, so now the next thing that we need to do, get add. Okay, so we want to, we don't want any of this. We do want this to be. Yeah, it doesn't really matter, actually. Um, because we're in we're, all we wanted that for was to not invent the flaw. The, the flaw. Okay, so what are we going to commit? Okay, we're going to commit this git commit service dev um, download and doc. Uh, or service dev docs uh, download pandoc to temporary okay so let's go actually change this file real quick here okay so We need a <clears throat> so if pandoc tempter right so we have this variable be in existence so we need to add it to the we need to add it to the set of variables here that are going to be if set uh, download pandoc to tempter and add to path. Right, so what this will do is um, right, so now we can say self.pan.tempter, and so usually there would be self.config, but uh, the docs are a little bit of the, this code, the, the current CLI to operations and everything else code is a little bit lacking in uh, updating, so it's just self there because it was old class style stuff before. Okay, so let's go ahead and add that. So add, let's take a look. Okay, so let's run the docs build. No strict, and doc, enter. console code block 
one. So damn it. Okay, so if this builds, then we will. Is this, or let's see, this is Okay, so. Just move Pandoc. Excuse me. Fuck. Okay, now there we go. There we go. All right, so now let's let's try this one more time just to make sure because Pandoc was in our path already. We could commit on this. Let's go back and check thread. Okay, here, so this was Pandoc installation. Uh, so, okay, so we just need to look at Gipod. What was wrong with Gipod? wrong with GitPod. Okay, we got a successful docs build. Okay, so. Okay. Okay, great. So now we have this no strict load fail. Okay, so now we want to add this because I can't remember. Oh, because there's also an issue on the Git pod environment with this. So we want no strict to do this as well. So good. Okay, so. No strict. So there we go. <clears throat> okay. I think that does it. All right, so now this is why we did that earlier. So now we have this nice little diff here. So, uh, oh wait, we want to. So, 
service dev docs. Okay, so yeah, I'm just going to do this because that wrapper will probably go away. <clears throat> so, like we just talked about. Okay, so uh, skip, uh, skip module docs on load error if no, no strict load no strict load failed given. Uh, let's check that out. Okay, so let's run it again. 